How are you doing there? The battery was running. Well, I had four hours of runtime on it. Can I take a bit of the Copy. Mm -hmm. Here comes Keith. Okay, the weight's coming on. I'm just going to put a line on the block to restrain it to the base of the tower. Yeah. Yeah, got it. You can't see it from down there, but he's got his call sign and frequency on the roof of the cab. Yeah, I was trying to take a picture of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is it? It's a Kate V7KL. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. got some train horns underneath there, like big Santa Fe uh, rail car train horns and an air compressor in the back. Mm -hmm. It's a funny guy. So they're just re-rigging this pulley here because the pulley is uh, lifting into the air. So they're going to put a, a block on it and restrain it so it won't lift up. <clears throat> How's it going there, Keith? SD. Can't hear me. He's deaf. Too many years. He's a heavy-duty uh, diesel mechanic. It's too many years in the big engines. He can't hear anything anymore. I think this will be fine. Huh? I think it's going to be nice and easy. We, it'll be no forces on it like crazy. Because it's almost a straight pull here, right? Here comes Lou. More unauthorized supervisors. Standing on the plate, the people standing on the plate, oh, yeah. and, and then you know, like this, like a you know, you feel like you feel like a penguin, yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. I, I really like this harness, you know. I, I retain my friends. The only difference was my friend got uh, a sender in here. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I can buy one. Uh, actually, yeah, go ahead. Okay, here we come. What's that? What's the issue? No, they're just watching it because it's come up. They got the weight now, right? Oh. How's that uh, C of G looking there? Go ahead, it's feeling good. Looks good. Just a bit? Yeah, it's a little off. Pretty good, eh? I thought it was more when we were on the tower, but I think what it was was when we were on the boom, we were no, pushing we, it. The boom, the boom, we push, the boom. yeah, we push it this way, the boom moves, and this is moving, so it makes it twice as much, right? Yeah, yeah it's really comfortable here, really good. Okay, I'm gonna come up some more. It's pretty much vertical, eh? It's pretty good, pretty close.
Yeah, Al needs to come and square it up. Okay. Good, good there. Yep. Is that thing being a bitch? Bring it in closer. Just bring, yeah, that's good, Jeremy, there, perfect. Yeah. Al, square it up, square it up, Al. Okay, maybe bring it in a little closer to the tower there, Jeremy. Nice and easy, nice and slow. Pretty unsquare here. Do you want to move back some more here, Al? Yeah. Yeah, me, Dan, pull it out a little bit. Yeah, keep going there, Dal. I'll keep a little more tension on there, square it up. Bit more there, Dan. <clears throat> yeah, keep going, Dan. You gotta walk another like four feet there. That looks a lot, yeah. That's good, okay, bring it up. Okay, hold it up there, Lee. I'm gonna make an adjustment here. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, let it down. Can you uh, can you let it down a little, a little bit, Lee? We forgot to watch it when it was pulling up there. It's hitting the top clamp. Okay, that's good. Okay, we need to square it up here, guys. Square it up. Back towards me a bit. Okay, he doesn't have enough rope. He needs more rope. So let's get that fixed out right now. Just hold it up and we'll deal with this. Now, this one, this one go here, that's right? Yep. But you don't want to have enough. Oh, yeah. Really? Because the pull line is here. I'm just thinking about that a bit more. Uh, how is that going to work when they pull it? 
I think we got a bit of a problem here with the rigging uh, as well. We'll uh, discuss it when you uh, have a chance. Yeah, I think I know what you're going to refer to. Yeah, you should go down, lower, and then when you rig, you rig, rig right. Yeah, no, they have to drop the rope down on this side. Yeah. Because we're yeah, not going to... Pull it. Yeah. Pull it down. Otherwise, we won't, won't be able to have to go down. There you go. Okay, so uh, what I'm talking about here is when we go to lift any further, I think we're going to have a problem uh, because I need to be able to get this truss clear. So I, I think the rope has to come down on the inside of the, of the mast. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I uh, didn't see that. Uh, we might have to figure out what we're going to do to fix that. Okay, so I think I think if we're, we're the way it's, this is going to sit anyway, if the if the truss work was on my side of the mast here, and the shackle was on my side of the mast, I think it would be okay. So uh, we can maybe send that back down and, and address that. Yeah, we can take up the short check and see what else we can do. Even if we move the all line. Uh, on the other side of the truss, right? It probably would be better. Yeah, if you move the haul line on the other side of the truss, yeah. you mean uh, on the other side of the mast, correct? Yeah, around the other side of the mast, yeah. I guess, too. Um, so what I'm thinking is, if you put a blue sling around the pipe and into uh, the shackle right now, can we let it down and uh, hang it on the mast? Yeah, I could probably make that happen. Uh, just give me a few moments, we'll see what we can do here. And then you can move, uh, undisconnect the whole line, move it around the truss and come up the other side. 